In this video, I would like to show you how to define transitions for simplified beam-based lattices. As a first step, you will need a build direction defined in the model. For this demo, I will just select a datum plane. You can even create an orientation that will place the C direction of the newly created coordinate system pointing upwards. I will select a view orientation that will allow me to show the changes in the lattice when we apply transitions. Now let's create just a regular lattice that will be placed inside a closed volume. This is an extreme case, but it can be a semi-closed volume or a volume where removing supports will be difficult and costly. The purpose of this tool is to improve the printability of a beam-based lattice structure by adding transition beams between the lattice and the internal surfaces between the horizontal or ceiling, I can say, and the critical angle. This is intended to work on simplified lattice. There are three options here. None, no create transition beams. Vertical, to create transition beams that contain a bend, so the transition beams are vertical at the support point in the model wall. Or could be slanted, to create a transition that slant from the branching point in the lattice to the supported point in the model wall. We already mentioned the critical angle. Here we can modify it to be 15 degrees, for instance. The next one we will adjust is the unsupported distance. Imagine that the unsupported distance is the maximum unsupported bridge we can make without needing supports. Other interesting parameter for vertical transition beams is the distance from the supported point in the model to the elbow in the transition beam that connects to the lattice. This is the distance to elbow. This distance to elbow, uh, we will see here the effect, we will change the, the value to 1 and we will see the effect on the on the screen is adjusting upwards. We have another control that is to add a type of conical beam right in the interface between the transition and the surface that is being supported. The benefit of this tool is to create lattice models with less support structures, less material used, less time to print, and less post-processing, because you will not need to remove temporary supports. Thank you.